So one of the um, bigger issues with uh, Shopify is that you have thousands of different themes being created. Um, and so theme developers often have different aims when creating themes. Um, some have SEO in mind and performance in mind, and then some have design and look uh, in mind. And, and you don't know often whether things have been rushed or well thought through. And so one flaw is that you occasionally have uh, key elements missing for themes so um, h1s h2s um, are often sort of placed in the wrong order and um, there might be multiple h1s uh, on product pages or category pages um, they might have uh, h1s missing for page titles which is probably the most common issue is a h2 replaced instead um, and this can like i said either be for for design reasons um, or it can just be um, a, a lack of knowledge in the SEO um, area and um, I guess a, 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 I don't know if laziness would be the right word, but um, a lack of care. So one of the things which uh, you need to do if, if this is the case is to uh, look going, go into your theme code um, and make some edits so you can revert it so H1 is in place and you've got H2s. Uh, on the page if required. So your H2 would typically be required if you've got subheadings um, and your H1 is always required uh, for SEO and you only want one H1. Um, for for uh, this scenario, I've, I've deliberately changed the product uh, title to a H2 um, and I wanna show you how you can revert it. So just quickly, to find out how, you, if you've got this issue, um, there's, there's a few different ways of doing it. You can use tools like Ahrefs, um, Screaming Frog, SEMrush, uh, and they'll be able to identify in bulk whether you've got multiple H1s, no H1s, multiple H2s. Um, just to do it, uh, I guess, for individual pages, um, you can go view page source, and you can do a command F search and you can type in either H1 oh because I've changed it to H. so I so okay this is a, that makes sense because I was wondering why it wasn't there so I changed it to a H2 so this is how you'd be able to identify so there's no clear H1 these wouldn't be marked as H1 and um, there's no clear H1 on the page instead if we do a H2 search you'll be able to see that the you go go to page title um, product single title h2 class here so that should be a h1 um, the other way of doing it is obviously doing a title search but it can be different depending on each page um, and there's 85 of them so you could be searching for a while a slightly faster way of doing it is also using something like SEO minion um, this will give you loads of different information about uh, the on-page elements for, for your SEO um, and you'll be able to see and identify here that there is no H1 um, it's H2s and H3s so the first thing we need to do is we go back into the um, theme code so obviously we go into themes go into actions go edit code And then um, you'll need to head into your product template. So not your product, sorry, your, your product section for that template. So don't head into your product template. Um, you wanna head into the section area and then you wanna find whatever page um, it relates to. So at the moment we're on the product page. If it was a blog uh, page, you can go blog template dot liquid. Um, and same with the collections pages. So whatever it, page you're having the issue with. Um, in this scenario, obviously, we want to head over to the product page. Um, so we want to look for product template dot liquid. Product template dot liquid. Um, and then we want to do a command h2 search command s sorry h2 search and then we've got product single title here and then we're just going to change that round to h1 and this is that easy um so 
when you're doing an audit of the website and you find there's multiple H1s, multiple H2s, missing H1s, missing H2s, missing H3s, or whatever it might be, um, missing H3s probably wouldn't be an issue and would be quite hard to identify whether it is an issue, but the H1s and H2s or any other key SEO elements, then um, figure out what, what page it relates to, then head into the uh, theme code um, and find um, and find the section it relates to for your Shopify store. Um, then if we head back into here and we've refreshed the page, you'll see that's reverted to a H1. Um, okay, hopefully that's helped. Uh, if not, you can reach out to us and, and we can uh, see what we can do.